Hello all my lost girl friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video where today I am going to be showing you guys on how to make your own custom villager variant for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now I'll also go ahead and show you guys on how to make your own custom trades for that villager so you can go ahead and make your own different villagers as customizable as you want. Now if I go and spawn in a villager we do ourselves a brand new villager right here but we also have ourselves the default villagers. So this is all using the original spawn egg. So all I did was I went ahead and went to the render controllers, I changed up the different textures, and I introduced my own textures and stuff like that. So I will show you guys step by step on how I did this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And let's get started. So what you're going to want to get is pretty much any type of code editor. My favorite one I like to use is Visual Studio Code. And you're going to want to go and focus on three folders. The Entity folder, the Render Controller folder, in the textures folder. So if I go and come down to entity, we have ourselves villager. So of course I will also have the default Minecraft research pack down below in description. So you can go ahead and download this as well as the behavior pack because you will go ahead and need that. But we do have ourselves all the default textures. Now by default you will only have yourself the uh, first five. You have yourself the butcher, the blacksmith, aka any type of smith, the priest, the librarian, and the farmer. So you're going to want to go ahead and introduce your own type of textures. So for the carpenter, I put on a carpenter. So the name of your villager texture will be right there. Then we have ourselves textures slash entity slash villager slash carpenter. So that's pretty much telling you that it's in the textures folder and it's going to be in the entities folder and it's in the villager folder. So the same thing goes for the zombie villager as well. So you can basically just go and copy and paste those directly across from one another, which is pretty great. So then what I did was I pretty much just have the geometry for the villager. Now I did put it within the model folder, but that is not necessarily a thing that you have to do. You don't actually have to put it within the models folder. You can just go ahead and keep the models folder empty if you so desire to. Same thing for the animations and animation controllers. Because all of these, they are basically just pulling it from the default Minecraft research pack stuff. So you don't really have to really worry about all that. But if I come right over here, we have ourselves render controllers and we have ourselves villager. So yet again, it's going to be the exact, exact same for the zombie villager as the normal villager. So inside of here, we have ourselves texture. Uh, so inside of here, we have ourselves the array dot skins. So this is pretty much telling you all the different textures that will come with the villager. So we have ourselves farmer, librarian, priest, smith, and butcher, which is the original five variants. Plus, we have ourselves my new five variants, the Stone Cutter, Carpenter, Jim Cutter, Compressioner, and as well as the Book Curator. Now, do these names look familiar? Well, they should because if I come back to the Villager, see, these are the exact same names that we have right here. So you are going to have to go ahead and have the exact same name that you have right here within the Render Controller folder itself. So that's pretty much it for all that. And then what I pretty much did, so now that you have yourself all the Research Pack stuff all taken care of, you can now move on to the Behavior Pack. So yet again, link down below in the description so you guys can go and download the default behaviors and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, we get ourselves a bunch of different things in here. But what you're going to want to focus on is this stuff down here. So we have ourselves Farmer, which is variant 0, and it goes all the way down to variant 4. So whichever villager variant they introduce, you got to keep track of the number. So for example, we introduced the Stone Cutter. That's going to be after the Leather Worker and Butchers and stuff like that. So that's going to be variant number five. So I actually got these two mixed up. So that's why I have them like this. So whichever order you have them in within the research pack, you're going to want to put them into the order inside of here. So variant five will be in fact the stone cutter variant. Variant six will be the carpenter. Variant seven will be the gym cutter. But just to keep it simple, the, just make sure that when you introduce your first variant, that you just go ahead and put the variant directly into the behaviors instead of just moving directly on to the next villager so you don't end up getting confused. But we do get ourselves a bunch of other stuff and we're not done with the villager stuff yet because there is a lot more that you're going to want to go ahead and keep track of, aka down here. So as you can see, we have ourselves the entity spawned. So for the entity spawned, this is what you're going to really want to pay attention to because we have ourselves the baby, we have ourselves the adult, but most importantly, we have ourselves all these. We have ourselves the weight. So you're going to want to put in all your different villagers inside of here. So I like to put them at a very low weight. So that way they spawn a lot more. But it's pretty much up to you. So we do have ourselves 
the entity transformed as well. And this is another thing that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go and copy and paste these and go ahead and introduce your own villagers and zombie villagers into here. So then we were sold this down here. Yeah, I know it's getting a little bit repetitive now. So you guess what? You introduce your villagers into here. You introduce your villagers pretty much anywhere that you see that type of stuff. So then we have cells to spawn butcher and spawn other stuff. But you're going to basically want to go ahead and come inside of here and put in your villagers. Yes, you guessed it. So now it's going to be basically the same thing for the zombie villagers. Uh, but the zombie villagers is actually a lot easier. Um, we do have ourselves all the different variants. So yet again, same process as it was beforehand. So then I'm just going to go ahead and continue scrolling down. Scrolling down. We have ourselves the curing and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different things in here that you can go ahead and customize. But as you can see, we have ourselves the weight stuff yet again. So go and put in your villagers. Put in your villagers. So basically just the same process as it was for the actual villagers themselves. And just, it's just the zombie villagers. All it is. Now, besides that, that is pretty much it about how to make your own custom villager variants for Minecraft. Now, you will also notice that there's a lot of red here. You do not want to delete these pieces of text. You're going to want to go and keep those. Now, as I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I'm also going to go and show you guys on how to make your own custom villager trades. So, inside of here, we have sold the book Curator. So, you can basically just go ahead and put this whichever way that you want. So, but you're going to want to make sure that you do this right. And if you don't do it right, then the game will crash. You got to do it correctly. So I like to keep it simple and just keep it in one straight line. I don't like to introduce multiple tears, but if you do want to introduce multiple tears, then I just recommend going ahead and copying and pasting one of the default Minecraft villager trade systems. So that way you can get, end up doing it correctly. But as you can see, I have myself my dies, I have my bookcases, and pretty much every single block that you can trade with will be put inside of here. And it's that simple. So you're going to have yourself the ones, you have yourself the items, the quantity. You're also going to have yourself the gives, which is the item that it gives you. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, but besides that, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it up to you guys. Go ahead and make your own custom villagers and have some fun with all this stuff. And please let me know if this tutorial has helped you out in some way or another. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now, I hope that you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.